Whoever turns away from our reminder, from our revelation, whoever turns away from the instruction of Allah, the first thing we do to them is we give them a life that is very narrow. No matter how broad it may be, it's very narrow for them. Everything seems negative. Even the most positive of things, you look at them as negative. So Allah says, you have a life that is dunk. You know, it's, it's actually very, very sad, depressed, and at the same time, narrow. It feels like you don't want to live anymore. Why? Because you've turned away from Allah. So if this is happening because you've turned away from Allah, you need to do something about it. And Allah says, on the day of judgment, we will resurrect them blind. The verse continues to say, the person will say, Oh Allah, I could see in the world, why am I blind now? And Allah says, you turned a blind eye to our revelation. So today you are blind. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not do that to us. Then we have a very dangerous effect. And that is where Allah leaves you. Imagine, Allah loves everyone. But there comes a stage where a person continues to engage in serious major sin, one after the other. So Allah says, he's forgotten me totally. I'm going to forget him. Forget him not in the sense that Allah doesn't know about you and doesn't know you, but he doesn't have mercy on you anymore. Until you turn back to him. Because now you've got to a stage where you're sinning one after the other for a long time. The minute you say a word that is positive, you find the mercy of Allah coming back to you. One word. They say, even if you say Allah, Allah, you know, even by error, Allahu Akbar. May Allah grant us goodness. Even by error, it will help you. Why? Because that's the name of Allah. I'm sure you're aware of a hadith where it is said that on the day of judgment, a man will come forth and his deeds will be brought to the scale and there will be 99 files, all these files full of sin. And suddenly when they put it on the scale, the scales are about to tip towards the evil and one card actually falls out of one of those files. Each file from the east to the west filled with sin, 99 files. I don't think we can commit that type of sin, but may Allah grant us a lesson. When the card drops, the angels are told to pick the card up. It has on it, La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. Once in his life, he uttered that word, the statement. And it is put on the right side of the scale. And guess what? The hadith says, it tips the scale completely. It tips it. How many of us have deeds that we have, that we hope on the day of judgment, they will come to tip the scale. May Allah help us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala really assist us and help us. You don't want Allah to leave you. One might wonder, how can Allah who is so merciful leave us? Well, listen to what he says. Don't be like those who forgot Allah. So Allah made them forget themselves. And in another verse, Allah says, Regarding the hypocrites, they forgot Allah, so Allah left them alone. <laughs> Carry on, do your thing. The hadith says, when you walk towards Allah, Allah rushes towards you. When you rush towards Allah, Allah comes to you even quicker than that. When you try to get closer to Allah, a hand span, He gets closer to you a whole foot, and so on. But when you're not trying to get close to Allah, you're walking away. What do you want from Allah? Subhanahu wa ta'ala, you are walking away from Allah and you still expect the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 